Now time to address your questions on the market. Lots of them coming in. I asked Hillary to help me out here. Uh, hey, Suze asked, uh, your thoughts on Procter & Gamble and Southwest Airlines, their dividends. I think their dividends are going to be fine. I think if you're a dividend player, that's good. I do worry about the action in both of these stocks. Outside of that, you can see the chart of Procter & Gamble. I'm not a big fan of the stocks themselves, but the dividend should be okay. Yeah, dividend is great on Procter & Gamble, and hopefully we should see Procter & Gamble come back. They're restructuring. They're kind of leaning down on Another uh, one of those companies restructuring for the 15th time. <laughs> right, but there could be something here. And also, because of the dollar, you know, Procter & Gamble didn't do well internationally. We could see some switch over in that. All right. Procter & Gamble um, come back. Otomi, uh, Otomo uh, tweeted, I'm retired with a portfolio of dividend-paying stocks taking a 10% plus hit on valuation. What should I do? Uh, this is the conundrum. You know, it's not just so easy to say I'm going to retire and pick up a whole bunch of dividend-paying stocks. Principle matters as well. That's why a lot of people like to do utilities or bonds. I'd be worried. I think if you just retired, you need to have some equities in your portfolio. People live to be 85, 95, 100 years old. It's routine. I want your golden years to be golden. What do you think, Hillary? Right. Well, I think that in terms of the dividend yield stocks, what you want to think about is if the Fed indeed is tightening, it's okay to be in those because the value stocks comes back, comes back, and that's where you see a lot of dividend yield coming in. Yeah, Would you go 100 percent, though, portfolio of dividend stocks focused on dividends? I think you could. I think if someone really wanted to, yes, it's possible out there. It's so diversified from technology to healthcare, you can get those dividends. And finally, Mark says, every big city that we go into, my wife takes me to Zara to shop and then checks the news on IDEXY. Hey, listen, you've got a smart wife there. My wife and my daughter both will love it. Uh, look at that chart. What's not to like? And it's an international company based out of Spain. So maybe the strong dollar won't hurt them as well as much. I hope you guys bought some of that. Every time you bought your wife something there, I hope you bought her a few shares as well. A great retailer, the great merchandising, fashion. It's a wonderful stock to be in if you want to be in retail. We know fashion is fickle, but these guys have seen that have, have found the answer for the last couple of years. When they don't, your wife will be the first one to know before Wall Street does. All right. Now to my Stock idea of the day is the TK t uh, Tankers, the ticker symbol. Try to say all those T's at the same time. <laughs> T and K. Listen, the world is awash in oil. Tanker companies are major beneficiaries. You got to put this stuff somewhere. You got to move it around. This stock has been coming on really nicely, sort of a stealth move because they crashed a while back. Now, though, revenues are soaring, margins are expanding, cash flow is strong. In fact, their cash flow is better than most of their rivals. And the earnings consensus for fiscal year 16 every other week moves a little bit higher. Right now, now I'm looking forward to move to eight dollars. That's a double top. A breakout from there, I think, is ten bucks. Higher than average risk, but I think you can make a big, big, big amount of money. That's your stock idea.